Hey guys, uh, I thought we'd take a quick look at my uh, running shoe rotation now in the winter here in Norway. Uh, we're in midwinter. It's it's ice. It's uh, slush. It's snow. It's cold. It's horrible. <laughs> but you know you got to get out there. Nevertheless, as a runner, there's no excuses. We got to get the training done. And so let's have a look at uh, what shoes that I'm currently using and and some tips around uh, shoe choice. Shoe shoe tips around the shoe choice shoe choice shoe choice <laughs> that's a weird word uh, shoe choice uh, this winter all right so first of all i'm currently doing most of my quality sessions like my faster running indoors on a treadmill and so that means i'm obviously using uh, sort of normal shoes because it's on treadmill right so I don't need spikes or anything on the treadmill certainly not that would be bad um, and I definitely recommend you know depending on how fast your fast running is because if you're a slower runner uh, even when you're running pretty hard if the absolute sort of velocity or speed is fairly low still it might be fine doing it outdoors uh, on slippery surfaces as long as you have spikes etc but if you're the faster you get the more difficult it is to safely run outdoors during your interval sessions for example and a treadmill can be a good um, tool in that regard but nevertheless most of my running is done outdoors and I'm just gonna go straight in and show you the shoes that I'm using on like 90% of my run my runs and it's the Hoka Speed Goat uh, but I have put in spikes all right, so you can see here that there are spikes put in. Let's see if we can get a close up. Yeah, there are spikes put in on the shoe, on the bottom of the shoe. Um, here in Norway, you can get that done. Well, you can do it yourself, but I got it done in a running shoe store, Le uh, Plaba. If someone is in Norway, they can go there. Uh, it's like $25 to, to get that done. So that's pretty nice and the grip is excellent. So earlier this winter I, I just ran without spikes because there's a lot of different winter running conditions, right? So when the first snow comes uh, and it's below zero and everything freezes over and it's just dry snow, you don't actually need spikes. I prefer running without spikes in, that, in those conditions. So I was running with these shoes, the Speed Goat, without the spikes if you're in a place where that's how it is, it just goes below zero and just stays there and it's just snow the whole winter and it's dry, you don't actually need spikes. But what happens here in Norway and most places, I guess, is that at some point, and it happened early this winter, it goes above zero, which means that the snow melts and then it freezes again and now we've got ice. All right, so suddenly everywhere is... It's like an ice rink, okay? You could, you could go ice skating on the road here in Norway. Um, and that's not good. And you cannot run with anything normal shoes, all right? So actually, before, when I didn't run in these, when it was dry and just snow, I could even run in my normal uh, Hooker Clifton shoes because it's, the grip is fine as long as it's just dry snow. But as soon as it's getting icy, um, that's when you need those spikes. So I had to get, uh, get those set in immediately and no problem. One, once, once you've got the spikes in, you can run on an ice rink. Uh, you, it's, it's fine. Sometimes it's, you can slip a little bit, so you still need to be maybe concentrate a little bit extra, run with a little bit higher cadence, shorter steps, right? Just be a little bit more concentrated but usually uh, the grip is fine and of course there's different types of spikes as well uh, Hoka actually has a, a new model now speed goat as well which has already spikes set in and those spikes will probably last longer than these and possibly even have better grip I don't know I haven't tried it so so I guess in an ideal world uh, I would have one pair of Hoka speed goats or any other shoe I'm just that's just the shoe I'm using and there are tons of other models from Hoka uh, and other brands obviously that are great. Uh, you probably want to avoid going for like a normal road shoe though with like no traction and go for something like a like a trail shoe right to get a little bit more traction. 
So in winter I'd run in trail shoes, but then there's another aspect too. Some, some summer trail shoes, they are still fairly breathable, whereas winter shoes, because you're running through slush, perhaps sometimes wa uh, water, obviously, snow, you want a little bit more uh, protection here in terms of uh, making it um, yeah, prote protective so you're not getting wet and also a little bit more padded perhaps so you're not getting cold. All right, so those are some things to consider, but uh, you know, you would have a trail shoe for the dry days and, and another shoe uh, with spikes for the ice. Um, there are some other shoes that I have here, for example, from Ultra. These, if you're going running, I used to do that, I don't do that anymore, but if you go running in the forest during winter and you have to go through like pretty high snow, um, having this shoe with like a high heel or like a mid, it's, it's called mid, <laughs> it's just a, um, this is Ultra Lone Peak Mid, I think they're just calling it, which just means that it's a high, high area here which protects you from getting snow in there. And you can have gaiters on there as well. Um, so that's, that's a shoe. I just use this for everyday use nowadays. Um, so the truth is, I actually just run in these <laughs> every day when I'm outside, which is not ideal because optimally you would have different shoes and rotate through them in the week. But because I do also some runs on treadmill, I'm getting some variation there. But the, the, the optimal solution would probably be to have another pair of shoes as well, slightly different from these, perhaps also with spikes, just to be able to add some variety. But that depends on how often you're running. I'm running almost every day, so that's, that's why I probably should have that. Whereas if you're running every other day, uh, it's probably fine just to use the same shoes. Anyway, that's it. Uh, winter running is, uh, can be challenging at times, uh, certainly, but um, having good shoe gear is essential. You don't want to go out on the slippery ice and try running without spikes. It's just, it's risky. You risk an injury for several weeks or months. You can fall. Um, you, you know, you can slip and then strain your hamstring or something because you're like suddenly go, going into a split or something. So don't do that. So get, get spikes in your shoes. Use trail shoes uh, or winter running shoes. That's my tip. I want to show you guys the winter, the winter hair before we wrap it up. So let's see, outside, it's very uh, beautiful. Today especially, it's, the weather is, is great. So, let's see. Here we go. Very nice. So, beautiful day, but today actually I'm going on a treadmill. I have a quality threshold session today and so I'm heading to the gym now and uh, that's gonna be fun all right thanks for watching if you have any questions post a comment uh, follow me on Instagram of course to see my daily posts almost and um, stay tuned for more videos all right bye